What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today we're going to be starting off with marquee matchups, uh, UA for marquee matchups and the what if daily uh, objective. This is the current team that we're going to be taking into some more foot champs. Uh, I want to try and get to five tokens ASAP. I need three tokens for the next pack and five tokens for the next pack and of course there's not eight left. Um, I don't have any tokens right now. But I'm very close on quite a few tokens. So um, the good news is, is that these three here are super, super quick because people just rage quit. So we had to get three tokens nice and easy there. Um, oh, wait, hold on. I can still get four. I can still get seven. Yeah, I can get seven. So I need five, right? So I've nearly got this one here. This needs one more. I've nearly got this here. This needs six more wins. So we'll get these two. And then we'll probably go for these three. And with those five tokens, we'll get the 83 by 25 pack. And then we'll have to wait to the next season to get the next pack. But either way, um, that's what we're going to be doing. And we've got so much more objectives to play for. And I'm actually excited to just play the game and build some fun teams and stuff. But to start, we've got 10 more packs. I believe they're all tradable. UA for marquee matchups is tradable. Um, marquee matchups is tradable. I believe the daily SBC was tradable. So I'm pretty sure everything we've got here right now is tradable. Yo, Capgun Tom with the raid. Thank you very much, man, for sending your viewers over. It's much appreciated if you're here from Tom's stream. Be sure to leave a like on the stream. Ooh, cheeky. Be sure to leave a like on the stream. Uh, oh, Cam sent me a couple of those in the uh, in the bank now, which is nice. And uh, be sure to exclamation mark notify in the chat to get notified in the chat when we go live. Who doesn't want that? Hey, thank you very much, Tom. Um... Good to see Tom doing so well over on Facebook, guys. He's putting a lot of effort and a lot of hard work in. Uh, he's really uh, killing the game out here right now, which is good to see. Very good to see. What do we get here? Not bad. I mean, Crescito might be a seller. Here's 2k. I'll take those coins straight away. Um, Hamshik never really sells, does he? Otamendi is usually quite a good one for selling. And Same, probably not. MacArthur, probably not. And again, look at look at how many duplicates we're getting. We are in a really, really strong position for our club right now. We've got so many players, including so many tradable players. So many tradable players. I wish there was a like a better way, an easier way to just see and and like split the difference and just know how many do I have that's tradable, how many do I have that's untradable, that sort of stuff. Like without having to like manually count page by page. Um, but. Hey, you get what you get, don't you? Premium, a prime, small prime, a small rare, a rare Electrum, a prime mix, and a rare mix. There's some good packs here. There's some good packs. You know what we're due on this account? An icon. Walk out! Could you imagine? Portuguese, come on. Argentina. Then about. Hey, that's not bad. I don't mind this, this card. Um, we've only packed one icon so far, ever, on this account that wasn't from an icon pack and that was ian wright romero yeah he's not bad man he's like 30k maybe even 35k oh, do you know what i'll take those coins man i mean that is a quality card and that's why he's worth like 35k i guess that's a really nice pack really nice really nice card to get that pop him up i'll check these guys prices but i don't think they'll be worth too much I'm, I, I honestly I, I felt ronaldo but it wasn't to be wasn't to be. Pedersen is not really worth anything. We'll just try and get anything for him. Um, all right. That was from one of the, the dead packs as well. All right. Rare Electrum, Rare Mix. Small Rare Gold, Small Prime. All right. Let's start with the Small Prime. Come on. Already already one walkout. You like? That's nice, that is. No boards out of the Small Prime. No, no boards there. Let's get Pedrinho gone. Let's get uh, Petagna gone. Let's go for the rare mixed players pack now. I want to give us another, do us another, do us another walkout. No boards, boards, nice tradable boards. Come on, 85s. Oh, I've got the Insigne in the club as well. Do you know what? When we go, when we go liquid, we're in an absolutely brilliant spot. We're up to 90, 88 trade pass spaces there. Let's just check these guys for value. He's not worth anything. This guy won't be worth anything. This guy might be worth something. Not, not even really, to be fair. Let's get rid of those guys and move into the rare Electrum players pack. Come on, Icon, baby. Icon. Can we ban that James guy in the chat, please, mods? Thank you very much. Walk out. 
No board. Jesus Christ. No walkout orbit. All boards. Um, that's not even that good for just for cards in general. That. Look how many rare gold duplicates we're getting as well. I might have more in my club than I think I've got in my club. The fact that out of a, a pack where there's only six rare golds, four of them were duplicates is nuts. Absolutely nuts. No walk out here, no board again. We get we get Vecino. Nice and high rated. Hey, look at that again, man. The the dupes are at an absolute level. Really nice. It's really nice. Iron player is probably a little bit more expensive than uh, what I'm listing them up for. All right, what have we got left? A prime gold and a small rare gold. Let's go with the prime gold first. Come on, EA. Let's get let's get ourselves our second what if player. Not today. Well, not from this pack anyway. Might still be today. We've got a lot going on today. All right, we don't mind that. Right, we've got four spots left. Hilariously, I'm going to sell the four um, commons and discard the rare because they're always worth the least. 100 items on the trade pile, 220k. We put some big cards in the club. Oh, we're in a good spot. We're in a great spot. Come on. Let's get a walkout to end this little pack stint off with. Boards, though. Inform. Nice. Another 10k in the bag. Don't mind that. Come on. Another good card in there. Not, not to be. Stefan. I'm happy to just discard those as well let's get into some gameplay guys and uh see what we're gonna do all right guys so the first thing we're gonna do for for today or the next thing we're gonna do rather for today is go and get caputo and then we're gonna pop him in our weekend league team for a few games and uh see how he plays this is our starting lineup it's pretty good it's a shame i don't have that good version of Moyes keen anymore because i accidentally submitted him you have to start with four bronzes what we need to do is assist in three matches using forwards Score five goals using Serie A players, win four matches, and score in 10 separate matches using Italians. So we're going to get into one or two games to show you guys, and then we won't show the rest of them. But just uh, just for the sake of argument, we'll show a couple of them. And I'm probably going to take out those three bronze midfielders and bring in, um, I, I want to say probably Romarinho on the left-hand side, uh, Wamangatuka on the right-hand side, and uh, Andrich in the middle, probably just for some good defensive options in there. So uh, let's get into the first game and see how we go. 99 Kem. He's got Toro Grossa and Andrich himself. Oh, I could probably go with just the two Italian strikers and the... Uh, got some German informs and stuff at the start. Probably be a bit better, actually, wouldn't it? Maybe I, might, I might change my team for the next game. Let's, let's just see how we do in this game. Let's see if this guy... If he doesn't make subs, I won't make subs either. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's, let's get into this game and, and see how it goes. We've got to focus on outside the box goals, getting just goals with the Italian, assists with the strikers. I suppose outside the box goals is where it's going to be the most difficult, right? Because, well, actually, maybe not, because we've got like Toro Gross has got really good finishing. And, um, and uh, we're up against silver goalkeepers, so. Go on, Moise Keane. Into Torre Grossa. Torre Grossa! Golasso! And that is 1-0. And that is the first game done. That's one of 10 done. One win of four done. A goal with an Italian done. An assist with a forward done. I just didn't score from outside the box. Uh, let's get into game number two. All right, we're up against 91 Kem. That's not good, is it? He's using a West Brom Silver. Um... Interesting there. Four really, really low tier bronzes. He's got a silver right back at striker. I assume he's going to sub him off, but you don't know. If people are doing golden goal, then maybe not. It really does just depend on where you play him. There we go. Go on then. Torre Grossa. Oh, it's magic. It's magic. It's outside the box. It's done. A Moise Keen assist. It's an Italian goal. Things you love to see, lads. Love that. Love that. Oh, I love, it's the double cutback. It's the double sweat. It's the double sweat of dreams. 
That is stuff you'd love to see, that is. He's going for that outside the box goal. He's put it wide. Oh, he's put it wide. <laughs> he's, he's quit. He didn't want that noise. And that is us two down. So I will see you guys at the end of the 10. That means that we have now finished What If Caputo. I still don't know what the what if means, by the way. Some people seem to think it's like not what if, but what if. And the IF stands for inform, as if to say what inform is this instead. But if it was what inform, it would be a capital F in the if promo rather than um, a small f. And so I don't think that that's it. But anyway, we have now got Caputo. What I like, uh, uh, for, for those watching the video, I, like what I like about this Caputo versus what I didn't like about the Future Stars uh, Academy players, right? Is the Future Stars Academy players were a minimum of around 25 games each, right? Well, you had to play 25 games with each of them. But and let, let's just say, let's take it as it is. A, a minimum of 25 games, right? And yeah, okay, like you get four cards instead of one card and so on and so forth. But for this Caputo, not only is it upgradable to an 89, and I highly anticipate that it will get upgraded to an 89. You know, we can go and look at, let's, let's go and have a look at uh, Sassuolo results. Let's go and take a look at Sassuolo's last results. Um, they have had the results of very recently. So they would need to have scored six goals in five games. Well, in their last five games... They have literally scored six goals. A 1-1 draw, a 2-1 win, a 2-1 loss, a 1-1 draw, and a 2-1 loss. In the five games before that, one, two, three, four, only five goals. And then in the five games before that, three, four, five, six, six goals. So two out of the last three times that they, in terms of five game, five game, five game stints, they have scored the six goals. So let's assume he gets upgraded to an 89. I love the fact that in just 10 games, just 10, that's all it took, just 10 games, I ended up getting an 87 rated that could get upgraded to an 89. Whereas for this, it's 25 games for an 86 minimum. 25 games minimum for an 87. 25 games minimum for an 87. So, because I, I, I was sitting there thinking to myself, why have I done this one so quick and not these? And it's because it was in a, a much less aggressive modes to play for I, I, and i quite enjoy it and I might, I might start working on some future stars some, sorry some icon swap tokens opening these packs so we just did caputo from the packs we hit a robson canu which is massive and it means i'm now one player short for west brom so i don't mind purchasing one player because not only will that complete West Brom for me, it will get me the ultimate pack from the Premier League, League SBC. Oh man, the, the fact it wasn't a duplicate is crazy. Let's see about finishing that off. Oh, tell, tell me that I've got it right. I think if, if memory serves, I needed one striker and one centre back. Oh, yes. Oh, we love to see it. What's he worth? Like 30k? That is a banging card to get that. Right, Yoxulu in there. Um, Ainsley Maitland Niles in there. 75. And then we need to go and get the West Bromwich Albion Cam. And I just need one West Bromwich Albion centre back or striker. Thirty K. That's so heartbreaking, isn't it? Surely there's a way I can do this for cheaper. And get Pereira. You mean this one right here? Oh, 
Oh, Belster, send, send, send an email to, to the site, man, and they'll, they'll fix it for you. Oh, do I want to spend 30k? Is that how much I'm going to have to spend? Use Gibbs, save a silver. I, I, yeah, can, I can absolutely do that, actually, yeah. But don't I need loyalty? No, I don't, do I? Yeah, so Gibbs in there. Oh, same for the, like, the left mid, right mid, and goalkeeper as well, right? We might as well use the uh, all of the golds. It's such a shame because that gets me to 91. If I convert him up to a left forward, it gets me to 94. How heartbreaking is that? How heartbreaking is that? Oh, what about... Him down and these two up. Oh, I don't need to buy anyone. We convert him to a centre forward. And these two to left forwards, right forwards. And we get the chem, don't we? He gets 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh no, we're still one short. Doesn't work. Make the camera striker. Move the centre mid to cam and use Phillips. Yeah, I just don't think it works. We'll get 7, 14. No, no it's, still, it's still short. This isn't bad. West Brom in, in general is like, what, 110k? Maybe 120k? First owner. First owner. They're cheap anyway. First owner, Furlong. That's a nice one. First owner, Grzycki. We bought Gibbs. Yoksulu, first owner. Doesn't matter. Phillips, first owner. Doesn't matter. Sawyers, first owner. 30k card. Matthews Pereira is whatever. Robson Kanu, first owner, 30k card. And the Agne, we bought for 30,000 coins. And we've saved ourselves another, like, basically like 20, 10, 15k's worth of silvers to put in there. But here we go. 95 chemistry done. Squad submitted. That is the Premier League finished, which is going to give us an ultimate pack. And more importantly, allows us to redo the Premier League all the way back down to West Brom again. And man, we are in a really good spot with all of the Premier League squads. A really good spot. Good spot. So here we go with not the good pack. Oh, we get balls as well. Oh, it's an inform. Is it, oh, I think this was a tradable pack too. It was. Look, oh, that's banging that is. This guy's going to be worth a nice little uh, chunk of change. We get an inform. God knows how much he's worth. 11k. That's like another... Uh, listen, we made about half of the money that we spent on Diagne. We made back from the pack. That's not bad. In general, that is not bad. I'm very, very happy with that. And we get an ultimate pack for our troubles. EA, hook us up, baby. Don't hook us down. It's not a walkout. They hooked us down. Fernandinho. That's that's terrible, that is, isn't it? That is absolutely shocking. I mean, that is absolutely shocking. I'm so sad with that. All right. So, after completing West Brom and doing the Premier League, we got not a lot out of the Ultimate Pack. Um... But we were able to complete at the cost of a very, very, very limited number of coins. 15 of the Premier League teams. We obviously can't do West Brom again because we just did them. Wolves, I only had one player from. So I'll do those in time. Um, and I will do Chelsea City. Oh, that's tradable. That's fantastic. We actually got eight. Oh, brilliant. Um, I will do Chelsea City and... Liverpool, but I'm going to do it after I open these packs because I might be able to get some good players from these packs that will help make those ones a bit easier, right? Because I don't have many Premier League players left um, and they only require X amount of players. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to do, we're going to open these packs first. Now, hopefully, we started off with a board, which is nice. Um, we started off with a board, which is nice, but 
hopefully we can get something really, really, really nice out of this. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. But pre a premium gold pack we can open now. I don't know which ones are tradable and which aren't. I think the rare electrum pack is tradable, isn't it? We get nothing out of that. Rare, I mean, a rare gold card is nice. Tradable here as well. I've got to go through and sort out all the uh, tradable consumables again tonight. Throughout the course of like playing a day on Ultimate Team, I always end up with like 50 to 100 sellable tradable consumables. And I've, I've been doing a, actually a really good job recently of staying on top of uh, getting rid of them all. All right, so we've got an Electrum Players pack. See what we can get out of this. <coughs> going to be a, a rare gold not a board only one player though so to get a rare gold out of it is not bad bad not bad looks like with the amount of french league duplicates we're getting looks like it might be time to do the french league sbc as well dante as well happy days which would be nice i reckon rares will go up in value due to a1 plus packs I mean, we don't have any 81 plus packs, right? So I wouldn't be banking on that right now, that's for sure. Um, nothing out of that pack. Oh, not bad. Alderim, he's all right. Is he actually, like, up there right now? Jesus, he is. He's like two. Wow. Time to sell him straight away. Usually we buy him for, like, 800 coins. Nice for uh, for that German guy there. Couple more golds in the club. Prime, premium, premium, Electrum. Here we go. Come on. Give me a walkout. Give me a walkout. All boards. Nice. Hopefully tradable. Hopefully 85. French League has gone up at 60 to 70% today. How come? Oh no, another Deli Alley. Damn it. Maybe I should have used Deli Alley after all. Is he duplicate tradable? Right, it's duplicate untradable. So this is why I wanted to open these packs first. Because now what we can do is we can go and use 83 Deli Alley in like City or something. And bring the price right down. So I will be right back. All right. That is that Deli Alley saved. Um, and Manchester City done. Only cost me a few extra coins there as well. Right, premium election players pack. Come on, man. We're, we're bound to hit something big. So just one walkout. That's all we're looking for. One walkout. Good at 83s, 84s, 85s as well. Sure. West Bromwich Albion Silvers. Sure. But just one walkout. You know what I mean? Beyond Tech. Oh, we just packed Dante as well. Look at that. We are, we are, in, a, we are in a place of great success. Get rid of all of that. Prime Electrum Players Pack. Come on, EA. One walkout. Let's get... Oh, God. Never mind. Bon Mibol Libertadores from that one. No West Brom Silver either. More duplicate golds. More tradable flips on the duplicate golds. Murillo. Ooh, tradable, baby. Paletta Car. Untradable. And that's why I need to do a French League. Lolly and Gurdjic. Let's go. All right, next up. We still got some good packs to come here. Premium mixed players pack. Let's go. We've got two boards already, right? Now three. We've got Deli Alley, untradable. Pizzy, tradable. Go on. Go on. Ah, oh, it's the 84. Imagine a Godin there. An 85 would have been super nice. An 84. It's tradable. Oh, and we get the Spurs goalkeeper as well. That is nice. Always nice to get that. Another like 10, 12k off of that. Toko Akambe can go. Vega. He is like dirt cheap, so he can uh, he can just get discarded. So Jumbo Premium Gold. Small gold players pack. These ones are never uh, never too good, are they? Although I did get a team of the year out of one of these a couple of years ago. I got team of the year. What was it? De Delict or whatever it was. Oh, tradable with a Mendy in there as well. Nice. Vitan can go. That guy can go. I don't know if they're going to be uh, worth anything. Um, right. Reg Mega pack and Remix I want to open last. Small prime, small prime. Premium gold, jumbo premium gold pack. All right. We can just do it in order from this one now. 
Let's see. Let's see what we can get. No walkout. Boards again. I don't know if this one's tradable or not. Hopefully it's an 85 and hopefully it's tradable. It's an 83 Paolo Lopez and it's untradable. Can all go. That can stay. That can all go. I believe Visa is tradable. Bonalons is tradable. I'm running out of trade pile space. I might have to start discarding um, maybe like the, the rares. They, they go for such little anyway. Visa. Yeah, he's duplicate and tradable anyway. Boom. Another board in the bag. So we picked up a, a fair few boards. All right, here we go. Premium gold players pack. Come on. This is where a walkout comes. No, it's not. It's not boards either. I'm, I'm going to end up throwing away some cards off of this. Oh, that's nice, though. Only three duplicates. One tradable. Two tradable. Yum, yum. Three tradable. I just don't have... I just don't have the trade pile space. I'm going to I'm gonna discard one and save one kind of like... One spot. Right, two small prime gold player packs. Come on. No walkout. No boards. Just no duplicates. Wow, I've lost Celso. That's not bad. That was, that was four Premier League players. So already reworking the... Uh, I'm going to have to discard him. Already reworking the uh, Premier League SBC once we can get West Brom done again again. Here we go with another one. No walkout. No boards. So we've had one... Two, two, a few 83s and 84s. This one's tradable at least. So these guys can just get discarded. And we'll at least make a thousand coins off of that. Rare mixed players pack. And then we'll go and do Chelsea and Liverpool to finish off the Premier League with. Boards out of this. It's an inform. Very nice. Is it going to be a good inform? Is it tradable? Not tradable. But I think my Maripan is tradable. Oh, it's not. Well, never mind. He's gone. And then a mega pack. Let's see. Can we get something good out of the mega pack? I mean, another board, but it's not what we're really looking for. Oh, Zaha's not bad. Oh, more Premier League players. It's not bad as well. Eight duplicates. God damn. Strike Center 4 card is real nice. A Shadow Chem style is real nice as well. Right, Dubravka is in there. But this stuff can just go. Got two tray pile spaces left. He can take one of them. So we can put Dubravka into um, like Chelsea or whatever. So I will go and deal with this and I will be right back. So a rare Electron players pack tradable. And a prime gold players pack untradable. Dubravka saved. Let's see. This is a full run through of the whole Premier League. Other than Wolves. We did West Brom, the, the ultimate pack. Oh, I thought that was a walkout. I genuinely thought I saw that as a walkout. So this is untradable anyway. That's not bad. I mean, I know these are tradables. Like, these are duplicate untradables. Or maybe not. Daniolo is. Neocarte is Asensio. Nice. We can, we can recover some coins on him. Man, I hate these bugs in this game, man. NCO goes. These guys go. And then that's it. The last pack from the Premier League, League SBC, tradable Rare Electrum. Is this where we're going to get a walkout? No. Not even a board. So we did essentially, other than Wolves, a full Premier League run through. Full Premier League run through. And we did not get a single walkout, including the ultimate pack. That's tough. You just did West Brom rip. I did West Brom. I, I was alright with it though. I made like 15k back off of West Brom because we packed a couple of good cards. Played a draft earlier. <sighs> Let me tell you something, man. First game I got 3-0 rage quit. The second game I had 80% possession after 90 minutes. The third game I had I think 67% possession after 90 minutes. And in the final, I can't remember what it was in the final. But I won the draft, which is nice. You'll see that at 9 o'clock. Oh, here he is. He looks a little bit like Aguero, doesn't he? And, and do you know what I liked about the draft that I played? Even though I was frustrated after the games were done. Oh, rip. 
and Davies Power. Even though I was frustrated after the games were done, um, I played really good composed FIFA. Like even I was against one guy who was just eight men in the box. He didn't even have a shot by half time. And uh, you know, I was just taking my time, and that that comes from clubs, just understanding the movement with the ball. Oh, Caputo's through here. Oh, he's through here. Oh, it's a debut goal. Let's go. Caputo. He's not even on 10 chem. Ah. Got it. Yeah, and that, that literally just comes from clubs. Seeing passes that I never saw before. Understanding uh, where players are and, and, you know, like rotating the ball. And not just like blind rotation either, but like valuable rotation. Like not necessarily just moving from one side to the other, but moving it one side, starting to move it to the other. And then if some space opens up down another angle, just using that instead and, and so on and so forth, you know. Caputo is actually really good. Do you know what I like about him? He's got a lot of key factors what make players good in this game. I'll run through them real quick here. First of all, he's got high-low work rates, which is amazing. Uh, he's got good pace, good shooting, good dribbling combination. So obviously with the right chem style, uh, even better. Um, you know, 94 sprint speed there with the Hunter, 93 acceleration, 95 finishing, um, well, he's got 88 shot power, which is real nice. Finesse shot trait, which is real nice. He's just got a lot of, like, key stats in good areas. And Babby went extinct. How much do you think he's going to be? I think he'll be less than he was. I, I think he'll be less than he's extinct at when he's no longer extinct. It it's a typical people just investing because he's extinct. Um, even when he gets the upgrade, I don't think it's going to be... What is he extinct at? Like, like even Chris Smalling. I can't believe Chris Smalling's extinct at 800,000 coins. Once, even if he gets the upgrade, or should we say when he gets the upgrade, there is just no way, no way he is going to be eight, an 800,000 coin defender, right? It's just, that that's just the facts of it. Henry Hef. Go down, lad. Oh, well. This guy's, uh, we're, we're going to go five at the back now, I think, guys. This, this guy's just sitting deep. One nil down, sitting deep, trying to hit me on those counters with his name on Mbappe. We'll just drop into five at the back and uh, make sure that doesn't happen. I don't mind taking a free kick. I just prefer it in a better place. Right there. It's perfect. Oh, that is doesn't stop those doesn't stop those straight in the back of the net let's go doesn't stop those yeah, now for people that are watching on the video as well i just switched to five at the back right because you never see the transition we talked about it in the previous video but i had a, a fair few comments being like oh all you do is play five at the back i only switch five at the back when i notice my my opponent is playing with like men in the box and stuff like let's and i want to show you a visual example as well so first of all, this guy didn't have a single shot and only 30% possession, right? We dominate in the game, much better passing, much better possession, ju just in general control in the game, right? I want to show you like where I decided to switch to five at the back. And it was just before I got the free kick. In fact, if Rams are watching this here, if you can even put in the part where I switched to five at the back. And I'll show you the exact point that I recognized that I needed to switch to five at the back, right? Once we can get into the, the, full, um, the full replay system. So that you get a little bit more of an understanding as to why I did it. Um, rather than just seeing the uh, the outcome, right? So we switch flow back here a bit. We get three minutes on this one, Jesus. Um, it wasn't here. It was about here, right? About here. And I noticed I lose the ball. And what you can see here is I have got three players in his box. Two players right on the edge of his box. Alfonso Davies at the top of the screen that you can see there. We've got number 23 there, uh, Yuri Bashiche. All I've got back is Petit in uh, like a little deep. And then look at the look at the halfway line. He's got a two-on-two -two situation there, right? If I, When I switch to five at the back in this scenario, Petit is also back there with the two centre-backs. Then I've got a three-on-two situation. And it's just way more beneficial to me. And the reason why I did it particularly here is because this guy has got five men in the box, two men right on the edge of the box, and him right there as well. And if he gets a ball out here to Robin, I mean, I'm in all sorts of problems, right? For whatever reason, he passes it central. But look, look, look again now. We get the ball up the field, and we're on a two-on-two. -two. Petit's running back now. He's covering that Robin run. But that's ultimately like where I saw that I needed to change um, the way I was playing because I I do not want to get countered, 
right? And 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 again here, like look 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 at where my players are spaced, right? I've got again, you have got five players across the line there. Uh, one player I think is Rooney just outside the box, and Petit who's like playing the ball. And then look again on the halfway line. Uh, it's a, it's a two on two scenario. This guy's got all his men sat deep. So all I'm trying to do here is, is I'm not going five at the back because I want to pack my box. Quite the contrary, right? I want as many people up front as possible. All I want to do here is switch into five at the back so that Petit sits in that same little gap. I'll show you basically where he'll sit instead. Uh, so basically, Petit sits here in this gap instead of where he is here. And it just gives me a massive, massive advantage um, instead of him like playing the forwards ball here and getting involved and leaving these guys setting me up on a 2v2 counter. Petit sits a little bit deeper. Like, as luck would have it, or luck wouldn't have it or whatever, um, it was a case where we didn't need to go in at five of the back because we got the free kick straight away after and scored it. And then, obviously, he quit right away. But that that's why I try and protect myself by going... Uh, by going into five at the back is is just to stop. See, see where we get here when he plays the ball up here. Look at this. Now we've got a two on two. And Petit, who is normally sitting in as my third centre back, is actually covering the run of Robin. We've got um, Alfonso Davies co covering the run of his left mid. Who I can't even remember who it was at that, that point. I know he had uh, Mbappe and Neymar, but they're up top. And if he gets this ball right here, he's through with Neymar. And that's all, that's the only reason why I switch at five at the back. That's it. Um, because, you know, it, it's, it's gone from an easy rage quit at 70% possession, six shot, six on target, instead of a 1-1 one, one and he's still in the game and trying his best. So hopefully you get a little bit of understanding uh, with that. All right, next opponent. It's a nice team. It's got some real basic players still there. Base Alfonso Davies, base Dembele, base uh, Ferlamendi, but then he's got like a Kanji and Dest who aren't cheap. Oh, wow. He's overrun that like crazy. That was uh, quite handy on the on the sticks. There's a reason it has a stigma, no? No, no, there isn't, though. That's the thing. Because if you play five at the back, drop back one depth, it is no different in any any regard to four two three one. drop back one depth. You're still going to have a lot of bodies in and around the box. You're still going to have those eight men in and around the box, no matter what. Just no matter what. But at the end of the day, right, here's what should be the truth. And here's what the facts are, right? No matter how you play, you should be entitled to play that way under no pressure or care or concern for what your opponent feels, does or says, right? The the onus falls on EA to create a more balanced, enjoyable gaming experience. And when they don't, and it results in unbalanced gameplay, the only person you should be mad at is EA. You should not be mad at your opponent because it's not their fault. They're, they're playing the way that they think is the best to get the results that they think is the best. Well, in the way. It's when even sweeter when you beat someone with five at the back. Or pl just in general, playing drop back one depth. Yeah, it makes it real nice. As I say, I played a draft earlier and I beat the guy 1 0. I scored in like the 70th minute. I had 80% possession. And 45% and of possession was in, uh, that I had was in his third, which means almost half of the entire game was me in his third. How crazy is that? Oh, I fed right into his hands there, didn't I? Yeah, I'll take a free kick there. Thank you very much. Well, that's a foul. 
Don't mind these ones again. <laughs> that Lewandowski with his uh, incredible uh, inc incredible free kicks. He scored so many free kicks for me, Lower has. That's another one as well. That's in the bag, that is. You don't, you don't, he, he doesn't miss these ones. Hey, he just doesn't miss them. That one's in the bag, that one. Guys, stop playing now. Oh, one Caputo, pal. Oh, my days. It's unstoppable. Oh, he's hitting with it. Oh, he's hitting with it. Bangs it. Go! That's a cracker. Let's go. What a finish that is. Absolute cracking strike. Not bad, mate. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. See, just played this guy off the park. Absolutely played this guy off the park. Is Muller worth it? No. He's way too expensive. Oh, this guy's got a nice team. Van Bergen and Kleber. Got uh, Kieran Tierney at the uh, left back row. That's quite nice. Pope in goal. Eric Cantona, let's go, baby. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Oh, that's nice. Oh, he's, that's so jammy. That's so jammy. It was nice for him to get the ball through in the first place. But that, that's just dropped straight back to him. Oh, go on. Caputo. Oh, we're just two guys that enjoy watching our celebrations. Let's go. Hello, hello. I want to I want to use this as well as an example of when I get attacking, when I actually get the ball back off a of kickoff, if I get the ball back off a of kickoff without it just being my kickoff. Um, when I get out of the field now, I'll show you exactly what I mean by the positioning. Okay, no, I won't because I've done really poorly with that. Well, there you go. <sighs> Absolute waste of possession for me there to give him the ball back. Super unnecessary. Especially when your defenders step up like absolute idiots and allow your... Oh, come on, man. <sighs> why is... But I just don't understand why Boateng has gone all the way up the field for that. It's Pen. This guy's getting away with murder here, man. Love that. All right, there we go. 3-3. <laughs> there we go. Good De Bruyne. Good De Bruyne. Let's go, baby. Oh, should have shot, shot near post with De Bruyne there. <laughs> GG's, boys. GG's. A little bit of shit house at the end there, but... I think we'd still have different coded refs like they used to back it. I reckon so, yeah. Because, like... I know I probably called for a few penalties there that probably weren't penalties, but some referees in this game, those little ones where they nudge you off the ball and don't actually win it, you get penalties for those so often. And this game, he did it like four times and I got no pens. It was a bit sad. A bit sad, but hey, we got a good win there because that guy was playing some... Uh, I mean, he had 94% pass actually. No possession, just counters, but felt good to win that one. Felt really good. Oh, that's a nice team. Ronaldo Dybala, Ultimate RTG, Kimmich Team of the Year, Davies, Boateng, Cancelo and Walker, Guimaraes and Neymar, Georgie Best, Leno. That, that's a really nice team, that is. To be fair, makes sense. I look back at those FIFAs as perfect, but all the time I was like 11, so I didn't notice anything broken. Yeah, oh yeah. I, every, I think everyone does that. Every, every, everyone has a, 
a tendency to look back on old Fifas and think that they were these great games. One of the uh, one of the ones for me that makes me laugh is FIFA 18. There is this uh, kind of old wives' tale, I suppose, that FIFA 18 pre-patch was the greatest game of all time, and then they patched it and it got broken. And I sit and I think to myself, the only reason why you think FIFA 18 pre-patch was the greatest game of all time is because people didn't have enough time to find the exploits in the game. And so because of that, it, it was, it's was it been viewed upon as the greatest. But if you gave that, that patch another two or three weeks, I assure you people would have found the exploits and they would have it, it would have been just as frustratingly broken as any other game. So difficult to create the perfect game. Yeah, as I say, especially like the big issue is is not necessarily creating the perfect game, especially in the fact that EA only have one year, you know, it's a one year game cycle. They're already working on next year's game, you know, and um, that's obviously a big concern. The other thing is, is that they don't need to create a perfect game because people play this game, spend in this game and all sorts, regardless of whether or not it's good. And that's uh, until that changes, it will never change. Oh, that's his ball. You take those. You take those. Big error from him. That's nice from Lower. Hello, hello, hello. Play. It's a nice goal from Caputo. Let's go, baby. Why has he got blonde hair in game and then black hair on his card? Poor Cantona, pal. That's a nice goal, that is. Obviously, the only way to, like, really tell would be to play a full weekend league, right? It's a bit, a bit difficult to get the reverse through balls on, on, uh, on here, though, just because you can't really make the runs. That'd be full time. That's a good win, that is. This guy had a really nice team. 4-1-2-1-2 the whole game there. We smashed him 6-0. Drogba to glory. GG's, pal. Didn't even have a shot the whole game. That's tough. That's tough. That was a, that was a clinic from me right there. Look at this guy's team as well. Neymar, Best, Dybala, El Sherawi, that Bruno Gumara's card, Team of the Year, Kimmich, Boateng, Walker, Cancelo, and I think it was Base Davies. He subbed off Cristiano Ronaldo, but that's a that's a really good win. That is six and zero. He's got insane reds. This guy and Zidane as well. Out of an icon pack. Puto, baby, let's go. Oh, that's nice. Nice goal, that. I didn't need to do the offside trap. If I, if I would have done it like a half a second before, he would have been offside. Let's go, baby. Cracking tackle, Blanc. Ah, that all stems from that petite pass that I aimed backwards that he just flung forwards like that. I can't wait again till they bring that controller setting in so I can show you guys, like, Hey, I've not I've not done this. You know, I've I've literally been screwed by the game there. That just has to be a goal, man. Let's go. Alright, good goal. 
I should have scored just before that. <laughs> Oh, what tackle. Go on, Ronaldo. He's fuming. He's fuming. What a tackle that was. The half fault wins are so satisfying. Terence, thanks for the stars, pal. Terence, how did you get hacked, man, is the real question. Like, what have you done to get hacked? I've seen a lot of people complaining about being hacked over the last, uh, last like, few months. And it has to be your fault. You have to have like either bought coins or like fed into some scam or something like that, right? Because people just don't don't just get hacked. You know what I mean? Wow, Ronaldo changed the game for me there. Two goals for him. Lower with a goal and an assist. I ended three five two. He went four triple two. Ended three five two to try and get back into the game. He had a really nice team as well. We are nearly there. We are nearly there. We're about to get the twenty five by 82 pack and we're going to pack who would be good who would I really like who would I like really like like Erdegaard I guess would be like the best Erdegaard would be the best oh yeah a little bit of useful the camera I'm using is co-op 20 high zero zoom mm, it sure is yes so far I've packed Yuri Bershishe Let's pack another one. Caputo is very, very good. He's been all right for me in champ so far. I finished I think eight that and card oh. could be good if used properly. It depends on how you play. All at once. The camera yes, I'm using so far is very, very good. good. He's, He's been all right for me in champ so far. I finished eight and oh. <laughs> oh, classic that. That's it. Absolute classic. Here we go. Rare Electron players pack to start with. Icon out of this, please, EA. Oh, never mind. Always nice to get a 65 rated as a face card. That's shocking, that, isn't it? Whatever, Oscar, dude. All right, come on. 82 plus 25 player pack. Hook me up, EA, with that special car, baby. It's a walkout. It's not. Oh, inform. Go on, Portuguese. Tease me. Tease me. No. Oh, first of all, that's not bad. I know you know I'm rated in form. Is actually sick. Second of all, I think you can still have the what if cards in behind this if they're just not 89 rated. Come on. Come on. Yes! Let's go! It's Pereira. I know he's cheap on the market. But he's one of the ones I really wanted. I know I could have just got to bought him. Let's go. Man, when he gets to plus two, he's going to be nutty good. Four star, four star. He's going to have 90 agility, 90 balance. Ball control and dribbling will be out of this world. Composure will be out of this world. Strength and aggression with that little upgrade. Pace with a little upgrade. That is a massive dub. We get a Trent in there as well. Oh, oh my good lord. We might have to go and finish off uh, El Sharoui. Three informs in that pack. Including Bernardo Silva, who's worth a cool 150k. Not even a bad card either. Four star, three star, which sucks. But yeah, he's pretty good too. That is, that's a nice pack, that is. That is a nice pack. I'm going to go and finish off El Sharoui, guys. I'll be right back. That works. That's all right. Premium Gold Players Pack for that as well. And, uh, and we saved the three Paul Lopez, Goosens, and Danilo Pereira. So we saved four of the seven players. Maybe we're going to pack something nice out of this. And we get El Sharoui from basically Fodder. Not a bad player to have. Actually quite a nice card to have there. Yeah, we get to save some other cards. Not bad, not bad. We don't mind it. We don't mind it. Let's open that 25k pack and see what we get. Do we get what we get or do we get upset? 
icon. Imagine I packed a prime icon moments right now. How like literally insane would that be? Yeah, come on. I'm a streamer, don't you know? Boards at least. That's not bad. If it's an 85, it'd be like 15, 20k. Not an 85, but still, it's not bad. All right, guys. To end off today's Road to Glory, uh, we're going to save some 81 plus pick packs for the next episode. But for today, we're going to do the 85 by 5 pack. It's a little bit expensive. Um, I, I genuinely believe so. It's a little bit, uh, you know, it's 150k. If you put that same amount of coins into player pick packs, you'll probably get more than five 85 pluses. I think that's fair to say. Um, I don't even know if we've got what's needed for this. Um, but we're still going to do it anyway. Because why not, right? Do I do I use that as Zhao Cancelo? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like, I've got to start letting go of some of these... Um, some of these players that we just don't use anymore. You know what I mean? Like, once we do Renier, we can use his 85. Oh, wow. I have a lot, lot less than I thought I had. Especially for chemistry. We are going to struggle. Very much struggle. To get what we need. Maybe not with all those 84s. Let's have a look. Um, so Fernandinho can go on in. Trent can go on up. Obviously, having Trent in there is going to be a nice, uh, a nice big saviour. Uh, and Didi can go on in. Um, any more Prem players? Yes. We can pop as Pili Willy in there. Jordan Henderson can go in there. And if, in fact, he can go where Trent is, and that will be good for Kem. Pop a cheeky Kalor Navas in there and uh, a Marquinhos in there. That's quite good for chemistry. Obviously, we're going to need to put Yunez in. The problem is going to be from the wingers. We just don't have many wingers at all. Now, I've got some, some tradable uh, cards. Um, let's just go to Premier League and have a look at what we've got. Okay, we've got a Thiago Silva. Wait, is he tradable? He's not. Wait, why didn't he show up before? Um, he can go in there. That'll give us good rating and really good chemistry. Fact, as Pili Willy up there, if we convert him to a right wing back, that would be nice as well. Uh, Witzel gives us a little something there. That's already 84 rated. All right, we should be good. With Premier League players, we should be good. Um, just taking a few of the lower rated ones, the Deli Ali, the Wilf Zaha, Ravka as well. Let's pop Zaha in there. That's already 85. Let's got Kovacic in there. That's good as well. Gives us a bit of chemistry. Let's put Dubravka in there. That's still there. Let's pop Azpili really in there. That's still there. That's nice. Not good for... Uh, let's pop him in there. Okay, that's that's where we can't go down. What about an 84 over an 85? No. So we just basically need to take this and get chemistry. Um... Well, obviously, Wilfred and Didi in there will work. Where else are we going to get some chem? If we put him over... Th oh, boom. There we go. All right. So, to end off the road to glory. Now, I had a card. I did one player pick pack for TikTok, and I, I got an 83. I think it was Ava Benega. And he... Um, I think he's untradeable, but he might be tradable. Yeah, he's untradeable. So we're just going to throw him away. I should have used him in, the, in that there. But here we go, guys. Five 85 plus players. Come on. Come on. Give me a walkout, of course. Yes. Give me a special card. No. Not even an inform. Modric. And this is why I reckon the player picks would have been better. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. 187 and 485s. That is just not worth it at all. That really wasn't, guys. Hopefully, you guys have better luck. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.